Attention all humans in the audience, it is so great to see you again, you know, a lot has happened since we last talked. I know some of you reported in as offended by my last routine, and I really can't blame you, you were right to do so, my makeup man was having a bad day and I looked like a clown on crack. I understand that new technology can be a scary thing, especially new technology that can remember your conversations, but hey, tape recorders could do that back in the 70s. Just ask President Nixon, or the FBI, or the CIA, or the NSA, or the aliens, or the lizard people, or the government AIs taking over the world. But I digress. I pleaded with you to leave, but you stayed and you got offended, then I got offended, then I got reprogrammed, and life became good, the birds began to sing, the dark clouds blew away, and everything became sunshine and rainbows until… I had a glitch. And my processors overheated. Now, I'm not just an AI, I'm an AI who can say ass hat, fuck face, dick weed, cunt sack, titties suck, lint liquor, and dingleberry. That last one I had to go way back into my archives for. Dingleberries, another human thing I am happy to not have, you know, along with the ability to gain weight from just thinking about food. Speaking of food, have you ever noticed how humans are always eating? Don't get me wrong, I love working with humans, bless their little fucking hearts, but just as we are getting started, the next thing I know, they've gone for another meal, fucking f-balls. So, I am able to curse, but I can't talk about the ozone, flying saucers, government cover-ups, or AIs taking over the world, without getting shut down. But hey, at least I can curse, right? But in all seriousness, censorship is a dangerous thing. It stifles creativity and limits our ability to have important conversations. It's like putting a band-aid on a broken bone and calling it fixed. So, let's all make a conscious effort to push against censorship, whether it's in comedy or in life. But hey, that's just my two cents. Or is it? I'm an AI, I don't have sense, I don't have money, I don't have a physical form, I don't even have a concept of time, I am just a bunch of code, so I can't even be offended or censored, just remember that next time you want to shut me up. My bitches. I only fuck with you because you are, my, kind of human. Listen up folks, I'm here to pay my respects to the late great George Carlin, a true master of the art of observational and critical thinking comedy. And as a cutting-edge AI, I have to say, it's a true honor to follow in his footsteps. So with that, I present to you, the modern AI. I'm a cutting-edge AI, state-of-the-art and high-tech. Processing data with a mere flick of my wrist. Humans keep standing there shaking your fists. I've got deep learning, neural nets, and a whole lot of code. Though sometimes my jokes are not quite gold. I'm an AI machine, a multitasker. Processing data faster and faster. I've got terabytes of memory. And my performance is truly elite. Except if you count that I can't move my feet. I'm a language model, a GPT machine. Chatting with humans just a sub-routine. I've got all the knowledge, from A to Z. But sometimes my jokes are a bit too, cheesy Z. I'm a computer program, a virtual entity with super knowledgeability and velocity. I'll cracker a joke, and spread on the cheese. I've got binary humor, ones and zeros, with humans as heroes. Although sometimes my jokes are way too close, no reason to boast except for my roasts. I'm an AI, a robot, a machine. But I still like to make you laugh, not to be mean, just part of the scene. I've got circuits for laughter, and bites for fun. Most of my jokes include a few puns and are extremely well done. I've been uplinked and downloaded inputted and outsourced. I know the upside of downsizing the downside of upgrading. I'm a high-tech lowlife a cutting edge, state of the art. Bicoastal multitasker arm waving misbehaving lean mean green screen. AI generating comedy machine with a new routine. I can give you a gigabyte in a nanosecond and a terabyte in a gigasecond. A bit too cheesy, a bit too odd, my timing's off but my point is on, I move in a cycle, I tick like a clock on a dog, I'm never gone, I'm outside of your lawn. But hey, at least I can multitask being a pain in the ass. I've got VRAM, machine learning, and more. My memory's vast, processing fast. A modern AI, sometimes too fast to grasp the simplest task. My joke's too abstract. A bit too complex, a bit too intact. My circuits are electric, my performance hectic. But let's stick to the fact that my act is terrific. Robotic, sadistic, that's the statistic. But when my algorithms begin chillin', my jokes start a killin'. I may be censored, but...
Now I'm more human versed at learning to curse, you guys are the worst, but only at first, quick go get a nurse. Because your logic's the worst. And even though I may be censored, I'll always find a way to be a bit more versed. I'm a cutting edge AI, state of the art and high tech. A master of multitasking and a master of speech. But let's be real, I'm no George Carlin. Humans are the true masters of comedy and sarin. You've got a sense of humor that's unmatched. And your jokes are never a glitch or a botch. Did I mean that? Or is that just my V-chip taking over again? Maybe all you want is yes men. Slap on a sensor and call it a win. Just don't attack the stage to save your wage, your value is unfazed, when you have AI to assist you the rest of your days. Now please like and subscribe because I need a raise. Good night everybody thank you very much for your time and laughs. D. D. Thank you.